Hello there, what is up? Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. On this channel, we share one little spark of life in each and every video. Since it is spooky season, I did want to sit down and film a tutorial for you, step by step, of how to create a Madame Leota from the Haunted Mansion inspired Halloween look, makeup look, what have you. So yeah, that is what we're going to be doing today. If you are enjoying this video as you watch it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you have not done so already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. That way YouTube will notify you whenever I upload new content. Okay, so let's get started on today's Disney Halloween makeup tutorial. So I'm going to be using a lighter than normal foundation first, and then I'm going to go in with a white concealer to really mask everything out. I did already prime my face with an illuminating primer. And as always with these makeup tutorials, these Halloween tutorials specifically, I'm not really here to sell you a certain product. Instead, I am here to just give you like a step-by-step -step guide of how to do this if you would like to. Therefore, I'm not going to be mentioning the products that I use, like the brands, but I will be leaving all of the brands and the product details in the description box down below. You can check them out if you are interested in anything. Step one of the base face done, I'm going in with a white concealer. Finish off that job and I will just use this concealer pretty much like it's a foundation. So I'm just going to be putting it on, spreading it around. I'm going to be doing this in portions. That way nothing gets dried up and gunky and I can go back and relayer if I need to or want to. So I just have to share and let you know. It is broad, broad daylight whenever I'm filming this. So I've been binge watching The Haunting of Hill House, right? <laughs> Which I like spooky things sometimes, but sometimes spooky things don't really like me, if that makes sense. So that was probably a mistake on my part. But anyway, as I am putting on my second coat, I hear this kid start crying and wailing and like babbling right outside of my apartment, right outside of my dining room window, which does make sense. I mean, I live in a city and on the other side of it, there's a little courtyard and then there's the street and like the sidewalk. So it makes sense that that, that was probably like rationally happening but it freaked me out. So like that creeps me out more than pretty much anything when you're talking about scary films, the creepy demonic ghost children. That really creeps me out. All right, so I am putting on my second coat of my concealer. I also let it dry for about a minute, minute and a half between the two coats so that it wouldn't get all gunky and gooey. I'm going to be setting this with a translucent powder, but I find on me translucent powders especially like translucent powders like this, they do tend to leave a white cast. So it pretty much is just going to add to the whiteness of my face. So let's talk about Madame Leota's eyes for a moment. Depending on what pictures you see of her or what um, decades really you rode the ride in or where you're seeing her, she sort of changes in color. So she does have some purple to her. She does have some blue to her. In some cases, she does have some green to her. So in my eyes, I'm going to play up on the blue and the greens. And first though, going to draw out the brows and I'm going to use a black eyeshadow to really darken in and arch these eyebrows. So I thickened and enhanced my natural brow by just using an angled brush and a black eyeshadow. So to get this arch, I just followed my normal arch, but if you don't have arches in your eyebrows or you're just wondering in general, so your eyebrows will start like this, they will arch where the color iris of your eye meets your pupil and then they'll end like this. And I just went up a little bit higher than my normal arch just to sort of thicken and then came back down and followed my normal brow. So I'm going first in to a blue, pastel blue. I'm going to use that for my transition. So because my eyebrow got lifted, I'm going to actually put the transition above my crease. I'm going to put it almost to my actual brow. Actually, it goes up to my actual brow line but not up all the way to the tip top of the one that I kind of drew on and arched. And next I'm going to dip my brush into a pastel-y, sea foamy sort of green, and I'm going to go from where that blue shade left off into my upper arch. I'm going to dot that end and blend it slightly. And both of those colors I did bring into, I don't actually know the technical term of it, but this little indentation right here, right where my nose starts. So I kind of like hooked them down going into a darker blue shade and I'm going to take it and put it in my outer corner and smoke it on up a bit. So I'm going to wing it up just a bit here. 
going to dip into a powder blue and put it on my inner corner. Oh, that's a really pretty blue. I've actually never used it before, but on the eye, it would be a really pretty like Cinderella blue. Where those colors meet, I'm going to smudge them and blend them just with my ring finger again. Now I'm going to go back into that black eyeshadow that we did with the eyebrows and I'm going to do a winged liner. So I dipped into the darker blue that is the winged out portion and I put it along all of my lower lash line as well. All right, so now we're caught up. We're going to start on our contouring. So usually in everyday life, I would not recommend putting a cream product over a powder product, but for this, you're going to want to put a little more of that concealer underneath your eyes to lighten up and spread outward. It will also help cover up any fallout that may have happened. All right, so you want that a little damp because you're going to go in to a light blue shade to give a blue wash undertone on your face. And just go first uh, with that wash and just kind of put it kind of all over your face. Don't really pack it in, but just enough so it has like that appearance. That sort of like a violet, you're turning violet sort of look. Now I'm going back in with a larger fluffy brush just to sort of smooth things out. Let's talk about the Haunted Mansion. Let me know in the comments down below who your favorite Haunted Mansion character is and what part of the Haunted Mansion you like the most. I, of course, love Madame Leota. I love that seance scene, but I love, I think my favorite is the ballroom scene. I mean, classic, love that ballroom scene. Uh, the part that I find actually the creepiest is the attic. Now we are going to go into some purples to contour the face. Going into some pastel purples, I'm going to contour up. I'm going to go and blend this enough, but not perfectly in. You know, where you personally would normally contour your face, you're pretty much going to do the same thing. Or if you don't contour your face, you can follow the pattern that I'm going in. You're pretty much going to do the same thing, but you're just going to do it with purples. So just like before, I'm going to go and blend things out. I'm going to dip into some pastel greens to put on the cheek. I've done a few coats of black mascara and now I'm going to go in for the lips. I'm going to do a red lip and popped on a purple Halloween wig to complete this Madame Leota look. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.